Hello everyone, this is the new setup I have in the car. Like you know already, I went to the Dayton Invention last week and I just got those brackets from Lido Mount. Uh, there's a guy there called Jim and you can see in the comments you have all the links to, to his website. Those brackets are amazing. There's no hole to, to, to drill in your car so you can see one bracket is uh, actually bolted on the using the seat bolt and it's very very solid and the other one is actually a cup mount that is working with pressure so it's very easy to remove to release that bracket and bring in like if you are like me and you have two car you can bring it in the other car very easily the brackets use uh, some sort of a standard that's actually easy to remove the bracket and interchange them and also this main bracket uh, is also holding with the same type of bracket and this is to all like 2HT and what you can do as well is this bracket can be mount uh, on the other uh, other mount which is the uh, the seat bolt mount and I did put some cushion uh, on it so to have it more soft under the HT but it's not really necessary it's very stable the other way as well as you can see you just unscrew the, the the bracket or screw depending on the side you are and you can see that is actually actually adjusting itself by pulling out and this what holds the bracket into the cup mount so you there's no need to drill any hole with those type of bracket so if you have a car and you don't want to uh, to, to to drill hole in it this those two brackets are very easily uh, installed and are uh, do not need any hole so i'm going to tie it on and you can see it's very solid. It can hold 2HT very easily. I'm going to do a demonstration a little bit further on. Uh, you will see I will be driving around with those brackets as well. And uh, actually, it's my camera that's moved a lot more than the, uh, than the bracket itself. So, here it's going to see tight enough. There you go. This is the bracket that I use a GoPro adapter used for a bike mount and adapt it to the bracket. The holes already fit in correctly. And this is going to hold my Raspberry Pi. And uh, as you can see, the Raspberry Pi, I just stick uh, as well a GoPro equipment with a sticker. It's very, very, very strong. And I did screw in the, the quarter inch old, uh, an adapter, a camera tripod adapter for GoPro. And then I attached this together. So I have an articulated uh, arm and it's easy for me to adjust the, the screen and the uh, the angle that I want so I can see the, the, the DV4 Mini Compact and I can see uh, the screen uh, easily. And uh, this is very solid. I'm very impressed with <laughs> those GoPro equipment. Actually, it's not GoPro. It is uh, actually uh, it's a third party uh, that I got on eBay. So you can see here the 2HT, the ID51 and the FT2DR uh, sitting on the first bracket on the cup mount and the other one holding the, uh, the Raspberry Pi. So you're going to notice that uh, if you have a setup like this, like me, maybe it's better to put the HT on the second uh, bracket, the higher bracket. So it will be easily if you have a manual uh, car, then you will need to shift. Uh, that's not too much a problem for an automatic car but for uh, a manual car this may be a problem but that's up to you but those mount mounting solution are cheap and also uh, they are very convenient the way they, they, they put uh, they do not have to screw and everything so that's make a nice setup I'm very happy about that I was waiting I was uh, hoping to uh, to find something like this and like I said, the Lido Mount had everything I needed when I uh, visit the, their, their, their booth at the invention. So now I'm going to do a test drive. So I'm going to leave. You're going to see that it's moving a little, but I can tell you it's a lot more stable than the video is showing you. Why? Because it's my camera that is moving. <laughs> Actually, the, the camera is uh, on my, the armrest in the middle of the car. And the camera was actually moving a lot more than the HT and the uh, Raspberry Pi was moving. So you can see that it's very stable. It's very, uh, very nice uh, display as well. I can see everything uh, very, very, very easily and uh, very clear. 
uh, in the car. You can also uh, use the second brackets and have a, a bracket, the same bracket that you have to hold in 2HT, but you can hold 2 uh, uh, and mic as well. So that's another thing that you can do. You can mount also a detachable faceplate from uh, another uh, mobile radio and it will do the same uh, thing. So I'll let you uh, see the video at the rest so I will show you a few angles and I uh, hope you did enjoy this video and 73, catch you some other time. This is Victor Alpha 2, Papa Victor. <laughs> Thank you.